so good afternoon students uh, we are going to learn about kara okay so kara it comes under the division chlorophyta class chlorophyceae order caryles and uh, family caryaceae okay there are uh, 117 species that you can see uh, uh, coming to this uh, particular family and we have uh, some species of kara kara vulgaris kara ceylanica kara nuda so this is having very strong uh, what uh, artifact that means it is having a strong covering that is called as uh, because of the presence of calcium carbonate uh, so it is called as stone worth or brittle worth so this is another name that has been given for kara and when we talk about where you can find this kara so kara is usually uh, find in uh, fresh water because all these are fresh water algae they are green in color look at this green in color and it is submerged completely seen inside the uh, is completely submerged in shallow water so when we talk about some uh, some of the species of kara is growing in brackish water some species are grown uh, in hot springs also okay so basically when we say this is a fresh water algae and it is contain it is basically it contain calcium and deficient in oxygen so why we consider uh, kara as stone worth why we consider kara as stone worth because it is having a Uh, because the surface of kara is covered with the, encrusted with or covered with the calcium carbonate so kara um, uh, often emits a disagreeable onion like odor a bad smell because uh, they, this is because of the presence of some sulfur compounds so sulfur compounds is there and in uh, india we could find uh, 30 species but uh, now uh, according to recent reports you can see 117 species of kara has been found okay so when we look into the thallus structure i have already told it is submerged one its height is about 20 to 30 cm if you have a scale you can measure it right 20 to 30 cm so it gets attached to the substratum by rhizoids right it is having a main axis see the main axis and it is having rhizoids uniseriate and branched only okay uniseriate means nodes and internodes are seen and branched okay branched means what they have a lateral branch primary branch secondary branches and all so this is it is having nodes and internodes so uh, node you can see uh, two central cell plus 60 20 cortical cells you can see and in internode you can see one axial cell plus cortical cell okay this part we will discuss in coming slides and you can see the nodes and internodes so this is the rhizoids of the kara okay rhizoid uh, they are multicellular uniseriate branched white color okay this uh, rhizoids is arising from rhizoidal plates okay rhizo from rhizoidal plates only the rhizoids get arranged okay so the the branches of rhizoids arises when this branches no this branches arise from uh, rhizoidal plates okay they are branched multicellular and obliquely septate and prominent uh, separations cannot be seen obliquely uh, septate a uh, slight slight septa you can see so this rhizoid is acting as a root so that it can uh, what it can Mm, be attached to the substratum it can be attached to the mud surface or sand surface so you have to uh, learn about the um, vegetative uh, multiplication of this plant so there is bulbil and secondary protonema that we will look in the main uh, main sections so this is the node and internode region this uh, line this lines are the uh, nodal region and the, between two node you can see the internode so how come this uh, uh, kara looks like it is a very long branch it is differentiated into node and internode but look at this this internode region uh, you can see uh, they are thick walled cells okay they are one celled thick layer is seen uh, it is called cortex but one celled uh, thick you can see uh, and that such species that is having one cell thick is called as corticate cell okay sometimes uh, this uh, thick wall cannot be seen so in that species we are saying it e corticate species okay so uh, one more time corticate species means it is having the internodal cells the cortical cells are having thick layer on one side okay one cell thick it is so it is called as the corticate cell and if there is no any thickness you are saying as uh, or uh, which the cortical layer is absent this uh, layer is completely absent you are saying as see this is the cortical cell this circular like cell 
okay uh, if it is not there you are saying it e code ticket so you have a node here you have an inter node here so node consists of pair of central small circular rounded cells 6 to 20 peripheral cells see the a nodal region nodal region you can see some uh, the, you can see uh, central small cells these are the peripheral cells that are surrounded by some peripheral cells okay so this uh, particular uh, main axis main axis is having two kind of branches one is limited growth and unlimited growth okay two branches uh, this main axis is having branches okay and it is having limited growth and unlimited growth so we will uh, look into that and you can see the branches see the branches over here this is the main axis right this is the main axis and this main axis is having what limited growth area and unlimited growth area that we will discuss so first we will discuss about limited growth area so limited growth area means this one limited growth limited growth area you can see uh, what uh, you can see 6 to 20 okay the, the walls of cells you can see okay mm, so this uh, this is having a this this branches this branches is called as the primary laterals or leaves branch let's you are saying it's primary branchlets so they grow one after the another okay from each node you can see this branchlets are arising or lateral leaves are been arising see this is the lateral uh, leaves from the nodal region you can see lot of um, what lateral leaves okay lateral uh, leaves are seen so uh, stipu uh, stipulates and reproductive structures are also seen in this uh, nodal area that we will uh, deal in the next slide so you should understand that the branching are of two types one is uh, unlimited growth unlimited growth means what it will be growing like this okay and uh, there is a limited growth area also there okay so we were talking about the limited growth branch only 6 to 20 uh, uh, forms the peripheral cell at the node axis so main axis will have 6 to 20 worlds so uh, when we talk about uh, what limited we need to talk about unlimited also right so unlimited where you can see see this side this side you can see unlimited uh, growth that means what hmm? uh, this unlimited growth also arises from the nodal area right a nodal area you can see where there is a branches of unlimited growth so it arises unlimited growth also arises from the axle of uh, short laterals uh, they grow indefinitely they grow many okay the branches arises from older nodes of main axis from older nodes maybe from this basal region and all you can see unlimited uh, branches will be arising okay so each uh, branch of unlimited growth will also have what nodes and inner nodes cortications uh, again primary laterals also you can see but it resembles almost similar to that of the main branch okay so unlimited uh, branches this one so when we talk about unlimited branch they are having uh, wood they are also called as uh, auxiliary branches or long branches they also arises from nodes and they are very uh, they are uh, from the short laterals they continue to grow indefinitely they arises from older nodes uh, older nodes and they are having inter nodes also they are having cortications they have uh, primary laterals also so in um, in uh, uh, unlimited uh, growth areas you can see uh, primary laterals also okay primary laterals two kind of uh, laterals you can see short lateral and long lateral so short lateral is called as this one a limited growth and long lateral is called as unlimited growth so this this can be asked for the uh, from question question point of view what is uh, limited and unlimited growth so this is the main axis this is the unlimited uh, growth area this is the primary primary lateral where there is only very limited growth is there it is also having uh, it is also having uh, what uh, um, limited growth is also called as primary laterals okay there are a lot of branchlets are there huh? you can see stipules are there okay so secondary laterals is also called as uh, stipules so see the secondary laterals see the primary laterals okay secondary laterals and primary laterals so older nodes is having this uh, what uh, 
uh, long laterals older nodes is uh, producing okay so we are we were talking about stipulates right St or stipules so there are uh, many outgrowth that you can see in the nodal area see the secondary lateral and there is secondary lateral is also called as uh, secondary lateral side uh, side of the uh, the base of the nodes you can see some uh, outgrowth you can see some small branches it is called as stipulates so there are many species which is having bi stipulate structures so uh, if um, there is only single stipule you are calling as uni stipulate structure okay uh, stipules can be arranged in uh, two worlds okay then it's called as diplostifanus so that much uh, detail uh, you don't have to understand but you should know what is stipules uh, stipulons uh, it is the outgrowth that is seen on the nodal area it is very short the small one no the small one is called as the stipulot so secondary laterals is producing uh, what stipulots and uh, primary laterals also side you can see so both secondary and primary uh, primary and secondary laterals you can see stipulots they are very small projections limited growth area um, which develop short oval pointed cell growth see this short oval pointed cell growth that is the um, this about so uh, we were uh, we know that this nodal area is the one where you could see stipulates uh, branches and all so many species of uh, cara hmm, uh, have internode cells okay they are uh, one cell thick or they may not be so thickened okay so why uh, if it is one cell thick it is called as a corticated species okay corticated so you can see it is n sheathed by cortex cell that may, the main axis is having some n sheath covering okay it is covered by a cortical cell it is called as especially this internodal area okay this internodal area so you can see the cortex consists of uh, elongated narrow cells see this is the narrow cell so after this narrow cell after this internode up to the half length you can see hmm, uh, you can see or or upper to this uh, what uh, two nodes in between the two nodes uh, you can see a smaller um, area also constrictions also you can see okay so uh, this is the uh, what this is the uh, reproductive structure uh, um, androidy and ugonia in this we are saying as lobule and locule so um, the internode up to the half of its length by corticating filament develop from upper node called descending the lower half of internode uh, which is covered by filament developed from the lower node so from lower node and upper node also that is a uh, what a covering okay of uh, joining of this cortical cells so uh, uh, you should understand what is corticated cell and decorticated cell if this uh, line is absent uh, this uh, internodes uh, joining from upper node and lower node if the inter nodes is not uh, joining then it is called as e-corticated species if there is a um, ascending and descending uh, filaments that we are saying ascending filament and descending filament they meet at the point of the internode that is our cortication if it is absent it is called as decortication okay so this is the basic uh, cell structure of uh, it is very thick uh, it is also having cellulose inner is made up of cellulose outer is made up of pectin and calcium carbonate it is called as stone mouth right then it is a haploid hmm? discard shape starch granules also can be seen okay and uh, i think we have discussed about the nodal cell and internodal cell okay internodal uh, internodal cell is larger a uh, nodal cell is smaller it is having cytoplasm nucleus everything is there just as a normal cell vacuoles sometimes small vacuoles can be seen sometimes it can it cannot be present okay there is cytoplasm is there hmm? okay through uh, that is especially for nodal cell and also internodal cell they are almost similar but nodal cell is smaller in size internodal cell is elongated okay and it's also multinucleate it contain discoid chloroplast and uh, there is a cytoplasm division and through the cytoplasm movement of materials occurs so uh, next class we will learn about the reproduction what are the different types of reproduction in uh, cara amylum star bulbil 
uh, tubers and secondary protonema so you can see this is the main axis you can see the primary laterals and this will grow again and it will produce secondary laterals okay so in today's class we have learned the general structure of cara and what are the limited and unlimited branches secondary lateral primary lateral and how the rhizoids are being formed so this is all about thank you